Food's ready. What's up, guys? What day are we on? I don't know, it's like day two on this building. So we got walls going up on the new one. Um, we're waiting for some prefab walls, so we're prefabbing the floor. And I'll give you guys a sweet flyover of that. Haven't really done it too much, but the lay of the land on this one, we cleaned up our site a whole bunch, so we got room to take advantage of it. Last building, it was my fault 100%. The lumber got away from me and we had stacks like that and like that and that and that and that. Messed up big time. And I was saying I don't have enough room. Well, I had plenty of room. It's just I didn't clean my room properly. So you got to have it not all scattered left, right. So I'm on 45. Anyways, we've done, cleaned out our trailer, cleaned up the yard, and took a minute to really make it nice, and holy crap, is it paying off already. So anyways, I'm gonna get some grub in me, and then I'll take you guys for a walk through on our site, and I'll show you what's going down. quick look here some of the plans we're working on this is the floor plan you got a lower section down here another one 22 foot unit beam running up the middle one foot cantilever over there big beam to the back all right so let's take a walk so yeah I gave you the flyover flew over that last building we finished uh, looked pretty good up there I thought the shingles look pretty tight uh, okay now we're looking at prefab beams now sometimes it can be scary when you are prefabbing so you gotta take into account everything on the plan where the toilets are at everything and you just got to be brave <laughs> and hope that you get it right. There's our stack of our 18 foot units. It only calls for one strong back, but just for lifting, I'm putting two in there. Strong back, if you don't know what that means, that's this two by six guy running all the way in through there, nailed to every single one. So when I lift up on him, he's gonna bring up all of them together. Let's climb up here. Same thing here. This is where the front of the building is going to be at. There's our back sections because you're not going to build it all in one go unless you got a crane and you're really ballsy. But uh, I'm still just a scared little boy. And then the building that we're doing is over there down below. But yeah, things are going good. As soon as we get our party walls, we are going to be off to the damn races. Let's do some parkour. Parkour! Oh yeah. Walk with me. So more beams. There's lots of beams and lots of joists. This is a seven unit building, but four of the units are stacked units. So four times two is eight and then three regulars. So that'd be an 11 plex, maybe. I don't know. I just cut wood, bro. I'm not good at math. If I need to do math, well, we all know I'm using construction master. <laughs> Here's our next one here. Those are our grid B walls, bearing wall. There's gonna be a big beam. Those big beams that we were looking at over there, they're gonna sit on that three ply and then rest in the middle of that unit. And then the smaller sections are gonna rest on the other three ply and come back right to here. Uh, the 18 foot units, the ones we are looking at over there, 
that whole front that's getting built up to the same height as that there's going to be a garage wall there and that whole piece is going to go bam and then the smaller piece back here goes bam and bam 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 biggity bam 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 bam, bam, bam. catch my drift player that's keith mcdonald he's champ bro the champ Anyways, he got me a coffee. He's a good man. He's always he's super supportive and he works his butt off like His butt's off He works it right off and I give that man a lot of respect for that because a lot of people just Do what they can get by He's sending it every day he's sending it so Cheers to Keith good man all right well that's about enough yippity yapping so we got to get back at it and maybe give you a shot at the end of the day cheers Okay, so let's have a look at what we did today. So we're talking about 22 foot unit. Check this out. Okay. So this is a piece. Don't mind the black thing here now, I use my other hand. That's a piece. And we built these. And we have a giant beam here, and then we have these. Now, a guy could go ahead and build all this in one thing, but he'd be a tougher man than me. So now let's go look outside at what we've got here. All right, so here we got the big mama beams. So that's that big green guy. Have a look here. Big green triple, 16 inch LVL. We got four of these same units. So this part, we got the joist running this way. So those are our big mama beams. Now back here, this big stack, those ones up there, that's this piece. You got a double LVL beam, drywall rim on this side, seven joists going like that. There's your LVL beams. Now these, these pieces are going to go in to the hangers on that beam there on both sides. So that beam runs there. What we're looking at here is these, this way and this way. And then we've got sections going like this. Now walk with me down here now. It's an overly complicated unit, I'll give you that. Probably some engineering that I don't understand because I'm just a super framer. Anyways, these are the pieces here, TGIs. Anyways, as you can see here too, we've got some three and a half TGIs with web stiffeners in here. Bam, 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 bam. Now the framers watching probably know what that's for but for those of you that don't know we've got windows that sit here and here and this thick joist is going to carry the weight of those cripples or jacks whatever you want to call them there's windows here so you got to take that weight anyways that's what those are for come monday we're going to be chaining all this up and flying it onto that 
Keith, did you have a good day? I did have a good day, yeah. Killer, right? We just yeah. crushed it. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, so anyways, there's your plan. I gave you a look at all the pieces. And then in our next episode, we'll fly them all in. And you can see how that goes. Hopefully, Smoothly. it goes smooth. There's always a little bit of jostling. That's why we didn't sheet them either, because you're flying it on. You want to be able to nail it down easy. And like I said, jostle it around, get it right where you want it. So some guys are real badass and they sheet them. And they're, they're badass. I'm not quite there yet. One day. I might be, but I'm still just scared. So for now, we're going to do it like this and uh, hopefully it goes all smooth.